let's make an attempt at understanding how to find out the dual of a primal problem so if the primal problem is maximizing something subject to something less than equal to bi what happens the dual will take all these bi's in the objective function and all these c1 c2 cn in the constraints so let's take a simple example if i tell you to maximize x1 plus x2 subject to minus x1 plus 2 x2 less than equal to 5 and x1 minus 2 x2 let this be uh, minus 5 x2 less than equal to 10 x1 and x2 greater than equal to 0 okay so if i have something like this ha huh, kyun nahi ho sakta hai? why can't that happen okay so if this is my primal problem what i will be doing is my dual of the primal will be here the primal was max so firstly it will be minimize 5 and 10 were here so minimize 5 w1 plus 10 w2 subject to minus 1 and 1 here so minus w1 plus w2 the coefficient of x1 and x1 so here the coefficient is minus 1 here the coefficient is plus 1 minus 1 w1 plus 1 w2 here we had less than equal to so here we will have greater than equal to coefficient of x1 is 1 1 2 and minus 5 so 2 w1 minus 5 w2 greater than equal to this is again 1 1 w1 w2 greater than equal to 0 so what happens is the coefficient of x1 and x2 which is there in the primal becomes the constant in the constraint and the constant in the constraint comes in the objective function for the dual and here i basically take the transpose so it's minus 1 and 2 1 and minus 5 now it becomes minus 1 and 1 2 and minus 5 minus 1 1 2 and minus 5 less than equal to becomes greater than equal to simple okay baki ek do aur problems ko dekhenge to aur acche se samajh mein aayega so this is called the primal problem and this kind of a transformation of the of the primal problem is called the dual okay ab ye primal to dual samajhne ki kya zarurat hai why should we know ki are ye dual hai ye primal hai kyun aisa kyun to make the life of a student more difficult is it primal agar ये फ्रेमवर्क है डुअल ये फ्रेमवर्क है क्यों ऐसा ये क्यों पढ़ते हैं हम लोग इन द फर्स्ट प्लेस बिकॉज मैथमेटिशियंस नोटिस दैट द प्राइमल प्रॉब्लम एंड द डुअल प्रॉब्लम सोल्यूशंस हैव समथिंग सो मच इन कॉमन हैव अ लॉट इन कॉमन सो इफ आई नो द सोल्यूशन ऑफ द प्राइमल प्रॉब्लम आई विल बी एबल टू Uh, substantially predict what will be the solution in my dual problem okay dual ka constraints kaise liya parasha please notice ye minus x1 ka jo coefficients hai wo pehle wale constraint mein aa jayega x2 ka coefficient will come in the second constraint okay that is how i took uh so what is the relationship between the solution of the primal and the dual problem the relationship between the solution is here given in the handout so in a primal dual pair of linear uh, programming if either the primal or the dual has an optimal solution then the other will have to have the same optimal solution and the value of the objective function is the same so interesting so primal problem ka jo maximizing value hai 
वही डुअल प्रॉब्लम का मिनिमाइजिंग वैल्यू होगा हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑफ द टाइम सो आई मेक द चेंज इन द प्राइमल प्रॉब्लम मेक इट इन टू अ डुअल प्रॉब्लम एंड वी गेट द सेम आंसर इन टर्म्स ऑफ द वैल्यू ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन सो समाइम्स द प्राइमल प्रॉब्लम इज अ थ्री वेरिएबल केस ठीक है थ्री वेरिएबल केस में दो कॉन्स्टेंट्स है राइट right? तो उसको अगर मैं डुअल में कन्वर्ट करता हूं इट बिकम्स अ टू वेरिएबल केस इन थ्री कॉन्स्टेंट्स व्हिच इज इजीली सॉल्वेबल बाय द ग्राफ सो दैट इज आल्सो एन एडवांटेज समटाइम्स द प्राइमल प्रॉब्लम कैन नॉट बी सॉल्व बाय द ग्राफिकल मेथड ऑफ द एलपीपी राइट क्योंकि अगर मुझे ग्राफ से सॉल्व करना है आई नीड ओनली टू वेरिएबल्स थ्री वेरिएबल्स जैसे ही आ जाता है इट बिकम्स अ थ्री फिगर जो ड्रॉ करना मेरे लिए तो संभव नहीं है it is impossible for me to draw it okay even if a person knows how to draw very well drawing a 3d figure is not at all convenient so it is better to convert the three dimensional problem into a two dimensional problem by taking the dual of the problem okay now if either the primal or the dual has an unbounded solution then the other has no feasible solution what is no feasible solution no feasible solution basically means that the basic feasible region does not exist like for example one line is like this and the other line is like this and the feasible part for this line is here the feasible part for this line is here and x1 and x2 are both greater than equal to 0 so you notice that in the x1 and the x2 positive space there is nothing in common between the two constraints so in this case we say that there is no feasible solution understandable so no feasible solution ka ye matlab hai that uh, there is nothing in common between the two inequalities yes kritika exactly so this is no feasible solution so if the primal has no solution then the other problem either has no solution or the solution is unbounded if the primal or the dual has unbounded then the other has no feasible so if one of them has unbounded ab ye unbounded kya hai unbounded kuch aisa hai pardon my drawing again uh Actually, let's take a similar example. Um, ये यहाँ पर है. So you can see that the common area is huge, and there is no end to the common area. So this entire area going up to infinity is the basic feasible region, or the BFR. Okay. Now we are supposed to supposing maximize. this line okay we are supposed to maximize this line now the more i move towards the right the higher value it is take so i keep moving 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 so what is the solution here here the solution is unbounded here the solution is unbounded because the more i move towards the right the higher it becomes so this is called an unbounded solution case before one was not unbounded before one was no solution this one is unbounded bfr is basic feasible region minimum you can find out but i'm talking about maximum if i were telling you to maximize it it's an unbounded solution okay so if it is unbounded the other will be no feasible if either problem has no solution then the other either has no solution or it's unbounded okay so these are the relationships between the primal and the dual okay very very interesting aise dekhne mein do completely different problems lagenge but if the answer to one of them i know then automatically i know the answer to the other one right 